Every Borderlands game so far has featured a Siren as a playable character. In Borderlands 3, that Siren's name is Amara. This Siren's strong, she's got abs, and she's got some seriously badass Siren powers. So where does Amara come from, and what was she doing before she came to this planet? Once again, to answer some of these questions, we need to look back to Borderland 2's DLC, Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary. In this DLC, we can listen to one of the abandoned records where we can hear a little bit more about Amara's story. Breaking news. The mysterious vigilante known as the Tiger of Partali has single-handedly taken out the notorious crime boss, Yetta Stonetooth. This marks the fifth major takedown by the Tiger this year alone, leading some to speculate whose face her fists will find next. When reached for comment, local law enforcement had this to say. That tiger lady is a goddamn siren. A siren, you understand me? We are staying the hell out of her way. And to the tiger, let me just say this. Uh, you go, girl. Oh, God. Please cut that part out and don't tell her I said that. <laughs> we didn't cut it. <laughs> So on her home planet of Partali, Amara was acting as a vigilante and apparently doing a very good job of it. In some flavor text on the Borderlands website, we can read a little bit more about her time on Partali. Gifted with powerful siren abilities, Amara is a renowned champion of the people and bona fide badass. Using her action skills, she can phase slam the ground to damage nearby enemies and knock them into the air, phase grasp enemies in place with a giant eternal fist, or even phase cast an astral projection of herself that deals damage to everything in its path. Finally, in Amara's trailer, looking for a fight, we can find out a little bit more about her motivations. I'm always looking for a fight. A fight for justice. A fight for what's right. But at this point, I'd settle for anyone who doesn't run. Oh, thank you, thank you! Being a hero to the people has its perks. The fame, the fans, the fashion. I love it all, but a tiger has to hunt. looking for a fight. But sometimes, if I'm lucky, the fight finds me. So now that we know a little bit more about her time on Partali, let's find out why she came to Pandora. On Sanctuary 3, back in the corner of Moxie's bar, we can find an echo log labeled Amara Grows Reckless. Amara, my favorite client. Great to see you, baby. Don't call me baby. I'm the tiger, remember? Easy, easy, baby. Uh, okay, uh, that, that was a mistake, tiger. The tiger, put me down. <sighs> Listen, I'm your agent. I'm looking out for you, and I'm telling you, you've outgrown Portali. You beat down the gangs, lifted up the people, but there's no one left to fight. Legends gotta keep being written, you know? Be reborn, or they die. That's why I'm leaving. I've heard of a place sirens are drawn to, and now I feel it too. Pandora. Pandora? Whew. That's a rough place, big tiger. Lots of fights there. Cannibal bandits, vicious wildlife, even alien stuff. I know, right? It's perfect. So something was drawing her to Pandora. This feeling must have been the same one experienced by the previous vault hunting sirens in the past Borderlands games. Although it is unknown what exactly causes this feeling. Alright guys, that's all I have on the crime-fighting vault hunter siren, Amara. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out my channel. Also consider following me on Twitter, it's the best place for me to keep in contact with you guys. But anyway, this has been Woodgen TV. thanks for watching guys.